Welcome back, friends, with another movie reaction. Today we are watching Red, White, and Royal Blue. And I actually missed this film when it first came out and had a difficult time moving my schedule around to get to it. But I've heard nothing but good things about this film, all of it courtesy of one singular person, my editor, Helena. And she's watched this movie upwards of 10 times at this point. Uh, she's got a tattoo of something from this movie just earlier today as well. And she edited in a deleted scene into this version of the movie that I'm watching, so that'll be in my reaction as well. Uh, she hasn't spoiled anything for me, though, uh, other than telling me that there's something after the credits and I should stick around for it. But let's get into this. Full reactions on Patreon. Leave a like and let's get started. The future King of England, Prince Philip, mm. Duke of Cambridge, married his childhood sweetheart, cheer the Prince's younger brother, Prince Henry, known affectionately as Prince of England's Hearts, and mm. their younger sister, Princess Beatrice, Alex Claremont Diaz, the charismatic son of the American president. Also huh. representing this so they have a Latin president or first lady? How about we skip the party tonight and go do touristy things instead? Are you kidding? No. Are you crazy? I want to see Buckingham Palace, <laughs> don't you? He spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. He was trained for this. I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just gonna eat me alive. Aww. It doesn't feel like he fits in. When the revolution happens, it will be because of this wedding. Oh, shut up, Henry. <laughs> the revolution. <laughs> the gift alone costs seventy-five thousand pounds. Wow! They practically have to break the doors down to get it inside. It's obscene. <laughs> <laughs> Talking rather loud. Hey, everybody's getting smacked. Here, this Prince Henry is so yummy. No, he's such no. a snob. I don't know. <laughs> I have heard so much about you. You're sticking with me tonight. Come on. Aww. Did we just become best friends? How's it going? Wow. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he might wind up making a fool of himself at this rate. Don't knock over the cake. Don't knock over the cake. How many families he could feed with what this cake? Dude, tell me something, Your Majesty. Yes. How do we pretend that didn't happen? Did your parents send you to snobbery school, or does looking down on people just come naturally to you? You know what? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Hey, wait, you, 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 that's not helping. <laughs> Deal with him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. You've done some pretty stupid things in your day, but this... Takes the cake? Oh, yeah, that's our, he's opening with a joke. Maybe he can host the course. Henry shoved me. An urge I currently share with the prince. Uh -huh. We have spent the last three years negotiating a new trade deal with his majesty's government. The British people okay. deserve better from our closest oh, boy. than this juvenile stunt. Wow. And it certainly casts a pall over our negotiation. I need That's the dumb. farming exports and manufacturing jobs that this deal provides to take to Midwest voters. I'd argue that you don't actually need the Midwest, and there's a path to re-election without the you don't want to hear from me today. What I need <laughs> from you is some good old-fashioned damage control. Ah, wow. Laura, what are you? <laughs> You're flying back to London tonight. What? Why? You and Prince Henry are in fact close personal friends and oh have boy. been for the last several years. Oh so boy. this is a fact sheet on Prince Henry. Memorize it. <laughs> He's not six foot two. Does he get a fact sheet on me? Yes. Wow. And I can assure you, you can hate Prince uh. Henry all you want, but the minute you see a camera, you better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. <laughs> and there is no getting out of this. What if I set myself on fire? We'd ship the ashes to Heathrow. <laughs> This will be fun. What's the name of Henry's dog? David. <laughs> I mean, really. David. Who names their dog David? You know right? You Shih Tzu named Jonathan. Yeah, I still maintain that. <laughs> it is. Son a little bit. Talking about. Your son. He is your son. He is. You guys see some pictures. A hundred percent. Cute. Mr. Claremont Diaz, welcome to Kensington Palace. Sean Srivastava, Prince Henry's Aquary. Nice to meet you, Sean. Oh, oh, I didn't expect to be back in England so soon. No one is more mystified than I. It's good to see you. Sober. One of Sober. Our will now take some pictures of His Royal Highness welcoming you. Uh, I'm afraid we're on a very tight schedule, oh, sir. Oh my God! We don't want to screw up the schedule. You must stand for the schedule right of His Royal Highness. Is that protocol or just his good side? Both. 
sir. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Big smiles for the Yikes. Camera, please. That definitely reminds me of Trump. My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. <laughs> You're wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. They do not get along at all. It's a disaster. Oh, this is the deleted Nora, scene. Not even Meryl Streep could pretend to like Henry. Let's play nice. I'm Ooh. trying. He's Oof. so insufferable. What are you doing? Okay. Nothing goes better <laughs> with leftover cake than ice cream with my good pal at Prince Henry Yuck. <laughs> Prince Henry UK. Hashtag I'm taller. Geotag Washington <laughs> Palace. Oh man. Posted. You're dealing with a professional. What? Dealing with a professional. There we go. <laughs> Can you two scooch in a little closer together? Begrudgingly, yes. <laughs> he moved like an inch. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> You've been mates since you met at the Melbourne Climate Conference several years back. Sure. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Uh, we hit it off instantly. Alex has very strong opinions, and, and he shares them loudly. A lot. What loudly. kind of words would I use to describe Henry? White, <laughs> blonde, and British. You don't know this, but Henry oh my God. the best freestyle raps. Well, Come on, do a little front. No, that's <laughs> that is not a thing. She wants to hear it. Remember, remember the uh, was just like, How too. on earth did you end up on the floor in Buckingham Palace? Covered in cake. <sighs> In the reign of Queen Victoria, they were having food fights all the time. So we were just sticking to Vicky. tradition? <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody buying that they get along? Hmm. Oh. Why'd you dislike me? <laughs> Climate conference in Melbourne, first night party. I went to introduce myself to you, and you looked at me like I had head lice. Then you turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. I could have been nicer. Yeah, that's an understatement. All uh, right, what else? <laughs> what else? just been the conference. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it is. It is, isn't it? Don't minimize it. How, how could I possibly? It's all <laughs> these minimal as it gets. It was my first foray into the world as a public figure, and I was really scared, and... You could have helped me, and you didn't. Oof. Yeah. Proper apology coming? Come on, come on. <laughs> he hates doing this. I'm sorry I was a prick to you. I, it's no excuse, but I was a prick to everyone in those days. My father had died a few months before, and the palace insisted on parading me around. Oh. Well, now I feel like I need to apologize. No, not really. I neutralized. Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. Oh my I say neutralized. God, neutralized. In the hospital. What? I, I mean, I guess. I know, I know. Stand to your right. <laughs> We're gonna do the gank again? No? You should be tougher on those agribusiness mofos. Well, maybe I can get you to push me to cake for me. <laughs> What's your beef with him anyway? I mean, he seems it's like squashed. a guy. He's elite and privileged and lives in a palace. What? What's that? I'm just brushing that working class chip off your shoulder. Hey, <laughs> your mom taught me to question authority. I had no idea. You and the prince were such good friends. Yeah, well, neither did I. Uh -huh. Hey, you mind if I put my journalist hat on for a sec? Only if you actually have one of those journalist hats like they do in the old movies. I promise I'll wear it for you sometime. That sounded Mother's flirty. Pain, nervous. The only Republican who makes us nervous is Abraham Lincoln. And I doubt he's running. <laughs> you see, this is why I ask you. You have to like use it. Not a chance, Miguel. Oh, such a tease. <laughs> How about hmm. sources close to the president? I'm gonna pass. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything off the record. Always pose with your right hand in your pocket. Are you having a wank? <laughs> oh, wow, he has his own freaking emoji. Am I six? <laughs> oh, spy kids. <laughs> Prince dickhead. Poop. <laughs> uh, is he gonna make fun of him for this? You have a lot of moles. Is that a result of inbreeding? God damn! It's so boring. What do you have against color anyway? <laughs> is a color, thank you. Aw, this is nice. He, he was single handedly responsible for every romance ever written in the last two centuries. And that's not oh. even considering his personal life. I'm blocking you for the rest of the night. <laughs> he had London under his spell. 
They have pretty great chemistry, honestly. I found out that they keep the turkey in a luxury hotel suite the night before the ceremony. And you decided to spend some time with more, it. I convinced my mother's staff to keep it at the White House, and they put the little asshole in my room. Don't ask mommy <laughs> You're more of a human than I thought. Wow, oh, thank you, Alex. That is so flattering. <laughs> I just mean, you don't seem like the kind of person that would name their dog David. He's named after Bowie. Huh. Wait, seriously? Hmm. That's, That's makes it better. It. Yeah, sure. Have I surprised you in any way? Nope. Nope. You are just as ghastly as I imagined. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Uh huh. Have it your way. I really like what they did with the. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not sleeping tonight. <laughs> there are good ideas in here. I really want to help. You do help. You are this... genuinely useful. Yeah. Be useful. Photo ops and New Year's parties and stupid shit like that. And I could be doing so much more. Poor kid. Will you please read my memo? He's an adult, but like, poor guy. Make sure Prince Henry comes to your party. People like oh. him more than they like you. What? Even if they knew him. Later. Ha <laughs> 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 look who it is. The nice prince himself. Guy. This is my best mate, Percy Oconjo, who has been begging me for an introduction since the wedding. Uh -huh. Miss Holler. Oh, here we go. I have been drunk since Christmas. <laughs> you gotta catch up. Nice to see them get along. <laughs> Dancing with a beautiful woman. Can't keep his eyes off him. Ballroom lessons didn't exactly cover this. Fair. Oh boy. Oh my. Did he say till the sweat drops down my phone? Oh, got dragged away again. Wow. The only two not getting low. Well, they're having a moment. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Fighting for his lips. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this guy just, this just got very real. People it, I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Wow. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Oh man. Happening in our Midwestern towns. Are you alive? It's been more than a month. And that's why I can deliver on my plan and bring prosperity. <laughs> <laughs> it turned into a drinking game. Tell me more about this kiss. Did you like it? Was he too surprised to like it? He grabbed my hair in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck does that mean? Yes. Jeez. I mean, it wasn't unpleasant. I mean, you've been wanting him to dick you down forever. What? Yes. Oh, no. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. You've been like completely obsessed with Henry for years. I've not Do been... not interrupt me. You've <laughs> been long distance text flirting with him all day, every day for months. You uh, spent the entire New Year's party straight up ignoring the who's who of hot young women in order to talk to Henry. This is true. What do you think that means? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. I don't know. I don't know. I can wrap my head around being low level into guys, but what I'm really confused about is being into Henry. <laughs> How many guys have you been with? Uh, Henry, where are you? We gotta sneak off to make out again. Aww, eagerly waiting his arrival. Oh, he hello. I read your Texas campaign memo. You did? How? The campaign putting your memo into action? Because they should. Not even paying attention anymore. Is this the year the Democrats finally flip Texas? Yeah, we're uh, gonna flip Texas. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, totally. I need your help. Where's the threat? Do we need to clear the room? Where's the threat? No, I just need to talk to Henry. Go up and talk to him. Private. Okay. <laughs> Try to pose. Cute. All nervous and stuff. I know. I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop talking. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> so shocked. Fellas, time to 
Time's up. We gotta get back to. Oh god. <laughs> convincing. Very convincing. So are you still like Stonehenge? Your royal Damn. Highness? Or Big Ben? <laughs> Big Ben. It's good to see you and his royal highness on better terms and not on the floor. Yes, Prime Minister. Henry we still have the rest of the night. Walls. Oh my god. You're going to come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. I find these terms agreeable. <laughs> to be clear, this changes nothing between us. I was about to say the same thing. Changes anyway. nothing. We're still enemies. <laughs> Uh, when did you start to fancy you? Melbourne Climate Conference. Wow. Party. Wow. You had a lot going on that night. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah. I guess you could say I'm bisexual. Noted. Uh, <laughs> just to put it out there, uh -huh. as gay as a maypole. <laughs> 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 I have no idea what a maple, maple. is. Maple, right. <laughs> Are they known for their homosexual tendencies? <laughs> oh, oh god, yes. We I just think... have to keep it very casual, of course. Yeah. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. Okay. Oh! No, that's Did... not what I meant. Oh, oh I wow. Majesty. It's your royal highness. <laughs> how many times I have to tell oh, you? Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> There's this... Charity Polo Match in Windsor next month that my mate Percy's foundation organizes. I was wondering if you might want to be my guest. I don't know how to play polo. Huh. That's not an excuse to get out of it, is it? It's just, teach him. I suppose that will be all right, seeing as you won't be playing. I will. Oh, You'll okay. be watching. Great. That's probably safer for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. So yes? That was a yes, right? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> There's something I've been dying to ask you. Which are the famous boys of I shy? There's two things I've been dying to ask. Stop with the fuzz. Wow. Do you have a last name? Actually, I have several. The official several? name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stuart Fox. <laughs> and I thought Oof. Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. Yeah. He is. Oh, wow. Damn. Does anyone in your family know about you? My sister B is the only one I've told. Uh -huh. My mum probably suspects. My brother Philip is completely oblivious. And what about His Majesty? He sat me down on my 18th birthday and told me not to let any selfish desires I might be harboring reflect poorly on the crown. <sighs> that is some bullshit. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. <sighs> Henry Fox has to belong to himself or else... Jeez. I think we should make love tonight. Make love? Oh. I'm, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. <laughs> okay. Who's gonna do what? Uh -huh. Because I'm, I've never, oh my God. I am so not playing this cool right now. <laughs> I went to an English boarding school, dear. <laughs> Trust me, you're in good hands. Oh my. The buttons are quite sturdy. Mm. Rigid. Sturdy. Rigid. Uh, this is the life he has. Just he can only be real in himself in these small moments for the rest of his life. My father was 12 when my abuela brought him and his sister over from Mexico. Oh. In America, if you're an immigrant with a Z in your last name, there's not a lot of people in positions of power that look like you or sound like you. I've been given a chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up. <laughs> He's a good guy. Did you tell Miguel Ramos that we had a plan to flip Texas? What? No. 16 tweets today. Oh, all what the heck? Article. Mr. Claremont Diaz, a student at Georgetown Law, is playing an active role in the campaign. Oh, my God. New Texas strategy. <sighs> you are no longer allowed to speak to the press. Do you understand? <sighs> yes, Madam President. Yeah, it feels like... In this moment, she's not his mom. What's the deal with this campaign memo? Ah, uh, there we go. Ugh. What's all that? 
My first Texas campaign, your grandmother saved everything. Every press clipping, every button. Aww. I read your memo. Good work. They're sending <laughs> you to Texas. Oh, let's go. You'll have a shoestring budget. You'll eat fast food for every meal. You'll work 18 hour days and you'll love every minute of it. So what do you say? <laughs> when do I start? <laughs> Dear Henry, Can Henry come with me? Greetings from the Lone Star State. But should I also tell you that when we're apart, your body comes back to me in my dreams. Oh, wow. And I can feel your skin in my mind and it makes every <laughs> bone in my body ache. I'm out here giving my all for my mother. I can't have smut filling my in <laughs> my mind and bulging my pants like this. Uh-huh. I think you'd really like Austin most, especially. <laughs> I want to see your mouth covered in barbecue sauce. And then I want to lick it off. Oh, man. Wait, don't they Very flirty. In Texas? That seems about right. Ten million voters! I'm reminded of nice. one of my favorite quotes from Sense and Sensibility. It isn't what we so say British. or think that... Oh boy. You're That's sniffing around again. Great speech. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh -huh. Just a bit of skullduggery? Skullduggery. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, tipping over. <laughs> Have you ever cooked for yourself? Once. <laughs> Once. Successfully. Hmm, what's your favorite movie? Oh, In the Mood for Love. Ooh. I've never seen it. Ooh. God, sometimes I forget how uncultured you Americans are. <laughs> it is only the swooniest movie of all time. Have you ever had your heart broken? When I kissed you and walked away. The day my dad died. Oh, that was much more serious than I thought it was. Is there someone in there? Yes. That's it. I. You can't do that. I'm coming in. Hey, oh. do you mind? Come on, Zara. Close on now. Zara. Get out. Oh damn. What did he just hit his head on? Oh god. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> She's flabbergasted. Zara. <laughs> Don't you tell me what to do. Who knows about this? Literally no one but you. And Percy. Right, and Nora. Oh, and I told my sister. Uh -huh. You didn't know that? Yeah, she was really happy for us. Oh, I can't wait to see her again. She's really- Okay, shut up. <laughs> I need to think. Oh my God. I'm sorry to interrupt your process of becoming, but you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Well, technically I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. <laughs> the spare. Oh God. You get your ass back to merry old England right now. I want you chewing on a goddamn crumpet by sunset. And if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. You got me? Damn. Loud and clear. Your Royal Highness. <laughs> Unbelievable. I've met someone. Huh. Is that all? Honey, that's great. I mean, why What's would that name? be relevant to the campaign? She's not a Republican, is she? <laughs> Thank no. God, no. He happens to be Henry. Oh boy. As in the Prince of England. <laughs> uh huh. We're gonna need some pizza. <laughs> so are you, are you by fluid pants? I just want to make sure you know you need to wear a condom uh -huh. for having anal intercourse. Uh huh. Oh my God. <laughs> we, can, we can talk about getting you on Truvada and it, and yeah. If you're bottoming, then you need the HPV vaccine, and I can Good for mom. send over some brochures. You are ridiculous. I cannot believe they gave you the nuclear codes. And yet, <laughs> why not? Texas Longhorns. My vacation house after my mother's book was published. My dad suggested that I invite you. Uh huh. Do you want to come? Please say yes. Please say yes. Nora says to bring Percy. <laughs> of course she did. It's great to see you again, sir. What's with the sir? Please call me. Congress. Oh, well, in that case, you can call me your Royal Highness. <laughs> I was ready to party! <laughs> this is what we're They're using their pet to. names for each other. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Wearing his hat. Wait till they find out about the karaoke machine. Uh, no, no, I am definitely not doing karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. You're gonna come out now? So you like him? What's not to like? Your mom and I were a stupid idea, too. We were just babies when we had you. Huh. Nobody thought we'd make it. Sometimes you just gotta jump. Hope you're not standing on the cliff. Wow. I must have missed when he actually found out. 
Shark worm! No! Oh my god, you are such a cretin. No, get off! <laughs> oh. I've been thinking. I seriously doubt that. I seriously doubt that. <laughs> We can walk through Austin holding hands and it won't even matter if anyone sees us. It will. You forgot about his side of this. He wants it, but... It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. I feel so right. He feels the same way, but he's... For his entire life, he's resigned himself to... What I mean to say is... Keeping it a secret, Henry. I'm... Oh... Poor guy. <sighs> You're packing? Man. I ended things with Alex. Oh, Hen. I'm so sorry. Think about what an example you could set. Have you thought about calling Mum? Last I heard from Mum, she was off saving elephants in Botswana. She better not abdicate or <laughs> find herself at the top of the staircase with Philip around. Jeez. It's all so silly. The idea yeah. of royalty in the 21st century. Do you love him? He won't. Make if I did. He won't let himself say it, even if he did. At least not yet. So that's a yes. <laughs> Percy said that Henry sometimes goes into his cocoon phases, and the only thing to do is just wait it out. He'll be a beautiful Can't butterfly. I'm going crazy. Go to London. Isn't he focused on taxes right now? Man. Mr. Claremont Diaz is at the gate. <laughs> insist on seeing you. Uh huh. Coming unannounced. Well, I mean, he wasn't picking up his. Can we please talk? I'm all wet. It's romantic. Let's go. Let you say we... All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing. I have been losing my mind this week because the man I love has vanished from my love? life without an explanation. I flew across an ocean. <laughs> To look you in the eye and tell you that I love you, knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, Henry. Oof. In fact, this is costing me everything. I wasn't raised by a loving, supportive family like you were. I have centuries of history bearing down on my shoulders. I'll leave. But... You can live in your tower and protect your heart for the rest of your life and nothing will ever happen to you. But Henry, nothing will ever happen to you. <laughs> so if you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness that I have found with you. <laughs> and if you think otherwise, then you don't know me. There's something I want you to see. <laughs> Kate, not in use. Sure. Only the prince gets to use it. And you can just get into a mu- oh my god. <laughs> of course again. I have a dream of taking somebody I loved here. <laughs> and he'd love it as much as I did. Yeah, it's not really my thing. Dance. <laughs> what kind of dance? Just a dog. Get low, get low. <sighs> He's already playing some music for you. Please be patient with me. And I promise I will try and be brave for us. <laughs> Uh, about the history of my life. Uh, I want to include you in my love for you. <laughs> I want you to have some part of me. When we're apart? Oh, the ring! Until you can have all of me again. Oh, the key. <laughs> uh, now we're even. Where's it, Grandpa? Oh. Your emails to Alex have been hacked. Shit! I read it. I'm so sorry, Henry. What the heck, man? I to call him. I'm afraid you can't, sir. Why? I've taken the liberty of confiscating your phone as a precaution. You've done the much. fuck? They've taken my phone. The Waterloo letters details the romance of Prince Henry and Alex Claremont Diaz, the son of American President Can you Claremont. ethically I report on this? About Miguel Ramos of Politico, who was the first American journalist to break this story. Of course he did. Motherfucker. Why is this anyone's business? After all, Alex Claremont Diaz no, is a- Crucify this fucker. We never imagined our most private and intimate thoughts, fears, and truths would become fodder for public examination. God damn it. He has captured my heart and made my life immeasurably better. 
I love His Royal Highness. Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover <laughs> Long ass name. She's not bearing down on him this time. Great job. <sighs> Is it still possible I've cost my mom the election? Yes. Maybe. <clears throat> there are... It's also possible that you just won her the election. We'll find out next week. <laughs> still a lot of homophobes out there. Watching. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to listen to this. It's the cutest thing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I've got the first son in my office moving over the prince like a cow in labor, and I'm not going to get any work <laughs> done until you put these two oh. homosexuals on the phone with one another. I don't care what any of those wrinkled white men at Buckingham Palace have to say about it. <laughs> I want you to march your skinny, <sighs> perfect ass over perfect. to the prince, hand him your phone, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again. Oh, Wait, whoa! I thought you might. Sorry. Damn. I kiss you. Touch me and die. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Oh my god. Are, are you alright? I'm hanging in there. Are you alright? Are you okay? No. We'll figure this out. Hurry. Hurry. Please. <laughs> I'll break the sound barrier for you. <laughs> Have you heard from your grandfather yet? Oh, what? <sighs> Keep you locked away forever. We really need to get you a book on English history. <laughs> yeah. Or you can have be in a car accident. Your speech was beautiful. It was. You'd be very proud to be your boyfriend. Boyfriend? Did we I'm put really labels proud on this? To be your boyfriend. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm white and upper class, so my affection comes with strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking. There are a number of unscrupulous governments who routinely concoct wholesale fabrications about. Prominent people. Do you suppose that might explain these <sighs> reports? I'm as much a part of this family as anyone here, and I deserve to be happy. No one is suggesting that you don't deserve to be happy. <sighs> to throw away your future because of. <clears throat> <clears throat> I have read your emails, Henry. It's the spicy ones. No doubt that your love is genuine. Occasionally vulgar, but <laughs> genuine. Uh -huh. However, and anything other than maintaining the traditional royal image is out of the question. Why is it out of the question? Oh, Mr. here we Gerald go. Dears, Why must we maintain a traditional royal image? Because, because, <laughs> because the nation... Apparently there are crowds forming in Manchester, Sheffield, <laughs> Birmingham, Cardiff, Edinburgh, and Liverpool. No, no, there is no turning back if you go out there now. I certainly hope not. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. I think that's up for debate. <laughs> The entire race oh, now shit. hangs on Texas. It's possible we are oh, just shit. minutes away from knowing who Texas. the next president of the United States. Governor Richards has swept Pennsylvania, Ohio, Minnesota. Let's find my Minnesota. God damn. Crikey, that's a lot of red. Yes, it is. <sighs> it's just land. It's that's red. Down to Texas. Remind me how this works again. <laughs> blue team, right? Whoever wins Texas is going to win the White House. Jesus. Hey, Mom. Hey, huh? Um, this this campaign was never about just me. It's about the country we hope to lead to our children. Is that a that concession a or? Ellen Claremont has carried Texas. <laughs> Open hearted, fearless, and alive to a bolder, brighter, braver future. Great victory speech for someone who know. was working on her concession speech. What now? <laughs> we vacation. I still have my key on you. Oh, very nice. Working class and able to afford a house like that. Gasp. Oh. <laughs> Do you think anyone noticed? <laughs> <sighs> nope. For Christy. Honors Taylor Zachar Perez's sister, Christy. What? She never had the chance to watch her brother's leading role. 
Wow. Passed away at 44 years old of stage 4 colorectal cancer. Survived by a husband, three kids, and a loving family. Oh, man. That sucks. Very sweet uh, dedication to her, though. All right, I can see why my editor liked this film so much. It's a very feel-good movie, which is right down her alley. I was close with my guess about what kind of tattoo she got. I just guessed it would be the key in the ring, but it's actually a chain that wraps around her forearm that ends in the key pointing at her pinky finger where Henry's ring would be. And the key is also the colors of the bisexual pride flag. A lot less generic than I imagined, but I was in the right ballpark regarding the general subject matter. I jokingly told her that I would have cringed really hard if she got a tattoo of Alex and Henry making out. But uh, thankfully she didn't go that way. First thing she told me when she started watching my reaction was, thank you for not making me look bad by saying that I only watched it 10 times, when re in reality she had already watched it 20 times, and here I am just ruining that. And yeah, I was surprised at how raunchy this film is. I don't watch a lot of movies that have this kind of humor, I guess. And the wow, I thought Alex Claremont, Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. Jeez. And yeah, there was quite a few sexy scenes, though they were also very tender and loving as well. And I definitely liked Henry and Alex's love story, though I enjoyed both of them just as like separate characters as well. With Henry, I definitely think his story is captivating, but I wish we got to see more of him in his natural element. A whole book was boiled down into a two-hour movie, so I understand they probably skipped a bunch of stuff. And it pretty much boils down to he's kind and he's a prince who doesn't want to be a prince. And it is an interesting concept though, because I had never actually given much thought to a possible queer person within the royal family, mostly because I think so little about the royal family in general. I think I was in my early 30s before I even realized that William and Harry are the sons of Princess Diana. Mostly I'm just like, why is the monarchy still a thing and I don't really pay them much, that much attention. And I know the UK is somehow worse than the US on trans issues, and I've wondered for a while now if that extends to homophobia as well. Obviously, it has a huge effect on Henry. At the start of the film, he's resigned himself to a life of hiding his true self from the world. It's really, really sad. And yeah, Alex drives him insane because it makes him want more in life when he feels like he shouldn't or he can't. Between him and Alex, though, uh, I found myself identifying way more with Alex. I actually cried just seeing Alex trying so hard to help his mother's campaign, which, okay, first of all, when I first saw Alex and heard his last name was Diaz, I assumed the president or the first lady would be Latin, but in this world, we actually have the first woman president. That's pretty darn cool. And she's played by Uma Thurman. And I actually really like Alex's relationship with his parents. They all have the same goals. They want to make the world a better place, but they all come at it from different angles. Uh, all have very different roles to play. I've got to say, I'm a little envious of their relationship. I think his story resonates with me so much because there's a part of me that wants to run for office to make the world a better place, but I know I don't have the disposition. Just like reading comments from some of the TERFs and right-wing people in my comments is already super frustrating and annoying, but yeah, there are definitely times when I feel like I'm not making enough of a difference, and so that made me relate to Alex a lot. The chemistry between Alex and Henry was super fun, though. Enemies to lovers is one of my favorite tropes, and yeah, they're at each other's throats for quite a while before they're in each other's throats. Uh, supposedly not fond of each other for three years, and yet we find out more as the layers of their relationship and their history get peeled back. Alex has reason to hate Henry. He thought he'd be somebody who could help show him the way in this new world, and Henry just turned away from him. Meanwhile, Henry actually walked away from him because he liked him too much and couldn't deal with it. And then there was the whole cake thing. Funny to cut back to that after the credits, but yeah, after the hospital scene, they open up to each other a little and are vulnerable with each other. Uh, the handshake before that scene and after were very, very different. Henry did the freaking disgusting Trump handshake where he takes your hand and pulls your entire body towards him. Oh my god, I hate that so much. And then the texting between the two of them, I thought it was really interestingly edited because for us, the audience, we see it play out like they're in the same room even though they're miles apart. And then the insults that used to be very real became like friendly teasing. Mostly teasing, but just like there's still so much chemistry. Uh, Alex is very interested in Henry, but is kind of oblivious to the reason why. He's had connections with men before, but it seemed like his attraction to Henry was operating on a subconscious level till that kiss. And he instinctively kissed Henry back even though he wasn't expecting the kiss in the first place. And then later in the film, when Henry leaves the beach house without saying anything, Alex comes to London to see him. And the time in the museum was just so romantic and sweet. It was this perfect moment and a promise of a better future, only for the relationship to be leaked by Miguel. He's the freaking worst, insufferable. And as someone who's queer himself, he knows how important it is to be in control of if and when and how you come out. And he took that away from Alex and Henry for his few minutes of fame. It's disgusting, slimy. 
But yeah, Henry had already decided to see his relationship with Alex through, and it's really rough on him. They were separated for a while until Zara pulled out that really, really great move, secret emergency phone. And I'm glad that Alex was able to be there for Henry through uh, through it all. And Henry became so much softer uh, by the end of the film. I mean, the way he tells Alex to hurry when Alex says he's coming to London, his voice was like quivering and he feels so vulnerable. There's a side of him that only Alex really ever gets to see. And even though he's going to be up against a lot of homophobia and a lot of hate, there's also a lot of love and support as well. Those who came out to support him, who still consider him the Prince of Hearts, seeing them all gather like that, it was really, really emotional. And let's be real, there's also some people who will support him because it means taking a stand against the traditions of the crown as well. But it was a great bow on the storyline. And then there was the Texas win for Alex. That was really great as well. And yeah, I'm quite interested in US politics, so its presence in this film was an added bonus for me. And it's funny seeing Rachel Maddow in this movie. Joanne Reed was there as well. Would have loved to find out what Alex's family's platform actually was, but it's left purposely vague so as to not really offend anybody besides Republicans, I guess. I wasn't a big fan of their campaign strategy because I'm of the opinion that you need to build a 50-state coalition and contest everywhere. Even if you don't have a shot in, like, solidly red states, a presidential election is when people are most paying attention to uh, electoral politics, and the work you can do now can pay off for down-ballot candidates, and it can also make inroads that pay off for your vision in the future. One thing of note though, they said Minnesota went Republican. That has been a solid blue state for like nearly 50 years. Alex's mom must have done something to really offend Minnesota in particular. And if you're relying on Texas to bail you out in the last moment, that is a nightmare, but thankfully it worked out for them. Because yeah, Texas has been solidly red for just for like four years shorter than Minnesota in the real world. Though this is the closest gap right now uh, that we've had in the last 20 years. Uh, I'm glad the campaign paid attention to Alex. He's misunderstood as this, as this guy who just loves to party, but that's because no one lets him actually be helpful in ways that matter. He's actually very passionate about this work, and it was nice to see him uh, his work pay off. A few notes on supporting characters. Beatrice was very cool. Uh, I'm glad Henry had somebody he could be safe with in his day-to-day -day life. The same held true with Nora for Alex. Really, really loved Nora's energy. And I'm glad Alex's mom was so great with him coming out. It seemed like they skipped the coming out part with the dad, but he was happy to have Henry around as well, and it's nice to have that moment for Alex. Zara is so underrated, honestly. She might have been my favorite side character. Taking care of Alex is honestly something that should be so beneath her as chief of staff, and the degree to which she was hyperventilating when she found Henry was hilarious. Probably the funniest moment in this film for me. Also a big fan of the reveal of her connection with Sean. And I'm glad that as worried as she was for the re-election campaign that she pulled a huge favor for Alex to get him in contact with Henry. I think my only complaint with this film is that I wish we got to know more about all the characters in the film. It's not the movie's fault because it's based on a book, but you can tell there's a lot more depth to everybody that we just didn't have time to get into. I might have to go and read the book at some point. I just renewed my library card the other day, so that's good timing. But yeah, I give this movie a 9 out of 10. It's a very feel-good movie. Hopefully, Helena doesn't mind that I didn't give her favorite movie a perfect score. That's my editor. But thanks for watching, friends. Full reactions on Patreon. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.